All right, scholars, amazing scientists, we're back. We have our investigation up and ready to go. Let's go through our different components and make sure we're all on the same page. First and foremost, we had a wondering, how does the force of gravity affect the motion of an object? What does gravity do to us when we're trying to move, scholars? Then we took that and we have formulated a question, a question that we could test. How does the height of the ramp affect the distance that our bumblebee car will go? Then we formed a hypothesis. Hopefully you have your hypothesis. Your hypothesis is what you predict, what you think is going to happen. I think that the higher the ramp, the blank, the car will roll. Some people said it would go higher some, or further. Some people would say it would go a shorter distance with a higher ramp. Some people said it doesn't even matter. I don't care if the ramp is on the top of a mountain. It's going to go the same distance every time. It doesn't matter. We're going to test it and see whose hypothesis was correct. Then we had to get our materials. Materials we decided we needed were three packs of sticky notes to change the height of the ramp. We needed a truck, a bumblebee truck. We needed a measuring instrument. We needed a board for a ramp. And we needed our journal or something to record our information on, right? We've got to have something to record our information on. Now, what we're going to be doing today is we're going to do the investigation. And the way we do the investigation is we're going to have to record data. And data is best compilated or best compilated. Is that even a word? No! Data is gathered in charts. So we're gonna create our own chart and we're gonna call it one sticky, two stickies, three stickies. And we're gonna have how many trials? We said that every time that you do an investigation, you need at least three trials. So we'll try trial one, trial two, trial three, and now we have our results and then we can get our averages at the bottom. All right, let's take a look at this chart we just created. And this is how easy this is. So with our chart, we know that we're going to have our sticky notes at, to change the height of the ramp. So we're gonna test one sticky and we're gonna test it one, two, three times. And we're gonna put the results every time. So we're gonna roll the car, then I'm gonna measure the distance, I'm gonna write the results. Then I'm going to roll it at the same height. I'm going to measure the distance. I'm going to write the results. Then I'm going to roll it again. Then I'm going to measure the distance. Then I'm going to write the results. Then, as our instruction said, we have to do each trial three times, and then we're going to switch out the height of the ramp. Are you ready? Let's get it going. All right, so I'm going to stick this right here so we can have our information right in front of our face. Got my sticky notes. We're gonna start off with one sticky. Gonna get our ramp right there. And then we're gonna take our car. And we're even gonna take this and I'm just gonna roll it out. So I wanna use my centimeters because don't forget in science, we use metric. Metric is centimeters. We don't use the inches in science. All right. And let's get ready to rumble, scholars. Okay, here we go. Trial number one, and then I've got to record my results. Let's see how far we get it. Are you serious? It didn't even move. It didn't even move. Let's try it one more time. Oh, that's all we got. Let's, let's measure. Trial number one. Now, watch. Here's some place where it can get confusing. If I measure to the back of the back wheel, the first one, I have to measure to the back of the back wheel every single time. If I measure to the front of the vehicle, I have to measure to the front every single time. Everything has to be accurate. Everything has to be consistent. So I'm going to measure to the front tire, and I'm going to say that's 17 centimeters. And I'm going to write it in my results. 17 centimeters. All right, let's try it again. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. 31 centimeters this time. So what do I do? I measure, I, I roll, I measure, I record. So now I'm at 31 centimeters. 
Let's do it again. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Now we are at 24 centimeters. All right, so now we're gonna take it off. We're gonna increase the height of our ramp by adding another pack of sticky notes. And then we're gonna try it again and we're gonna see what happens. Are you ready? All right, here we go. Whoa. Here we go, let's test it out. We are at 66 centimeters. Try one. Have to go back, do it again. Yes, we have to do it again. Here we go. Wow, 66 centimeters again, wow. Okay. And we are going to try it one more time because we're gonna do every trial three times. Every trial three times. Okay, here we go, last one. Sixty-nine centimeters. That was very accurate. Sixty-six, sixty-six, and sixty-nine centimeters. All right. Now we're gonna add another sticky notes. Here we go. Last three trials. What do you think is going to happen? Do you see any pattern that is occurring in our results? Is it aligning with your hypothesis? The first sticky note. At one sticky note, we see that we had seventeen centimeters. 31 and 24. The second trial where we added two sticky notes so we increased the height, it went to 66, 66, and 69. What do you observe that is happening as we increase the height of the sticky notes? It's very important as we increase the height of the ramp to observe what's happening because that's gonna be our conclusion. When we're drawing conclusions, we're gonna have to analyze our data in order to draw conclusions. Okay, we've added our third sticky note, one, two, three and we've got three trials left to do. Here we go, let's get it. Make sure I've got plenty of space. And go. Wow, grab that there and measure. 85 centimeters. All right, gonna try it one more time, or two more times actually. Eighty nine centimeters. Eighty nine centimeters. So we've got eighty five, eighty nine. All right, make a prediction. What do you think the last one is going to be based on what you've seen thus far? What do you think the last distance is going to be? Three sticky notes high. Here we go. Three Get it at the end. Ninety centimeters. How many of you guys guessed ninety? Awesome. All right, so now we've done our investigation and now is the most important part because we get to draw a conclusion. We get to have a conclusion on what we observed happening. So we have our conclusion. Now conclusion will consist of different questions. It might ask like, you might tell them what you knew, what you knew coming into the investigation. You might have already known a little bit something about gravity. Then you might say what you observed but then you're gonna start telling them about your hypothesis. Was your hypothesis correct? Was your hypothesis incorrect? And you start connecting all the information that you observed in your data. How do you know it was correct? How do you know that it was incorrect? And what did you learn from this investigation about how the force of gravity can affect the motion of an object, the distance that an object will travel, all of those kinds of good things. This is how easy it is to create a scientific investigation wrapped around the concept of force. We've done it. We have designed an investigation that tests the effects of gravity on an object. Scholars, y'all are awesome. Y'all are awesome. You are amazing. I hope you had as great a time as I did. We will be back on soon with more amazing science.